Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Jamie Plays with me, Jamie. Today we're having another look at Star Trek New Horizons Into the Mirror Darkly release. We're looking at the Terran Empire in the alternate universe. So in the last episode we met um, the Delton Union and the Saurian League. Um, we're still fighting against this rebellion um, called the Coalition of Hope. Um, we did find the Tholians though, so we um, are now going to send a scout ship in to yeah to do some research oh i need to set the fleet stance to passive that way um yeah they will actually enter the system and not just suddenly flee because it does say that there's a there's hostile um life there so do that um they're currently under attack here which i doubt this will actually lead to much of anything so well, let's also build, a let's make this a naval station, and it won't build now because it's under attack, but eventually once that kind of fight is over it will be fine. We're sending our NX assault fleet, which we lost one of them in the last episode, we're sending them down to the, Ur the Ursae Majora sector. Oh, we've encountered pirates. Um, yeah, visual indicators point to their culture being largely space-born. Unfortunately, the crews are completely uninterested in civil discourse. What little um, we have been able to glean from intercepting intrafleet communications indicate they primarily subsist on piracy, occasionally recruiting fringe elements of space-faring civilizations to their call, so it's deplorable. And I think they're up here somewhere? Maybe? Let's go there and there. Also our construction ship, we're going to expand there, get that nice lucrative system. Oh, and they're still expanding this way. This is actually a good thing because once we crush the Coalition of Hope, um, yeah, we can crush the Coalition and then we can, uh, we get all of these systems that they're expanding to, so that's nice. So unable to build a starbase. Why were you unable to build the starbase? Can you still move there? Looks like it. Okay, weird. So you're here. Why don't we take this Blee's system as well? And maybe even the dry supernova. Oh. Please. Oh, 640. Maybe that's something we should worry about. So take the station and glees, and then, well. You seem to be doing fine. New research. Let's go for Tritanium Hull. Improve our hull. Combat status, this is now ours, great. So now go back to Blaze 1 and yeah, see if we can actually survive what's happening here. And this one's now ours, which is nice. Destroy our ship. Ah, oh, so while engaged in combat against the Tholian scout ship, Shan Wang ordered that the Tholian be beamed aboard to be interrogated. The Tholians were unable to detect the transporter beam, but they managed to set the self destruct to stop anyone else from being captured. With the Tholian in custody, Shan Wang demanded that the Tholian reveal the location of its base. The Tholian naturally refused. Shan Wang consulted with the first officer, who advised that they try and make a deal with the creature. However, the security officer advised that they decrease the temperature in the holding cell, so as to torture the Tholian into giving them the required information. Let's lower the temperature. And the game is frozen. Ooh! Fractured. 
So they decided that it was unlikely the Tholian would voluntarily divulge this, the location of the Tholian base and so ordered that the temperature of the holding cell be decreased instead. After slowly decreasing the temperature in the holding cell until the Tholian's exoskeleton started to fracture, the Tholians gave in and revealed the location of the base. Shan Wang decided to spare the Tholian, as the Terran Empire scientists would no doubt be able to learn a great deal from the creature. As an extra precaution, Shan Wang also ordered that the Tholian be kept sedated as to not to try and escape or warn its people that they were on its way. So capture Starship. So it looks like we now have another place to go. Track on map. Ah, there. So, rather than do all that, I'm going to have you go there. But let's set to evasive in case there is a ship there. So, this battle looks like it's going well for us. What about this one? Bannard's for that. Uh, yeah, here we go. And now it's going to go great for us. So I'm also going to activate a relic because we're here. Let's go for Zephram Cochrane's shotgun. Because that way ooh, we get another tradition immediately. Naval capacity increased by 20%. Sh naval uh, ship upkeep minus 10%. Orbital bombardment. Administrative capacity, starbase maintenance, increase officer production. Let's go for the ship upkeep and naval capacity increase. That sounds like a good idea. So we force their cruiser to retreat and force the destroyer to re retreat as well. Let's send you to Pujem. How are you doing? We are about to destroy their destroyer. Yay. So, oh, what? There's a cruiser there now? Okay, you go there. I'm not sure that the Enterprise will, for example, survive the cruiser. But, research, let's go for, I guess, Jevonai Artisan Shop. Yeah, let's... how long are you going to take to get there? 40 days left. You should be okay, I think you should survive. Oh, and... Yep, so there is an alien's vessels and a space station, so we will need to send our, our fleet there. I'm going to send the this Imperial Defense Fleet. You go there. Sure, take the long way around. You repair. That's fine. And why not you... Actually, you can just... Yes, yeah, stay. You finish your construction. Very good. Oh, on the soul system. No. You know what we can do? Let us buy some mineral, uh, not buy minerals, let's get rid of minerals and not get rid, but buy alloys, I mean. I mean alloys. Let us then reinforce those ships. New technology, Tritanium hull. Ooh, let's go for Magnesite because, oh, but we also have beam weapon damage. Now let's do this, because we do have two of them in our... We have two there and two there. And two there, whereas we have... Oh, that's Topoline, but we do have two uh, Magnesite up there. Anyway. 100 more days. You're trying to attack it yet again. Ooh, that's a little bit strong. Let's go to Belize first, and then there. A little bit annoying. The Saurian League can now use a trade embargo against us. And demilitarization, okay. Let's go for Sonic Disruption Field, Secondary Plasmodyne Relay. The Jefferson Odyssey Shop is now finished. Let's go for a military training center on Mars. 
Let's build a policing system on Pajem. Let's go for. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Let's go for fusion reactors. And on Earth, let's go for something like. Oh, an entertainment center, because we will need that soon. We will also need another city. Uh, let's build another city here as well, and let's upgrade this building. I'm also going to set um, police officer as the top job here. And on Telar, I'm going to do the same thing. And I'm also going to upgrade yeah, those as well. And cities... This one definitely needs a city. Tell our prime also needs a city. So you want the assault fleet. Actually, let's send the NX there. You can just go to police and then Zavijava. Yeah, that sounds nice. Yeah, because they have cruisers. This is a problem. How did they get cruisers? We have a science ship just sitting there. You should just be sitting there. This one should not just be sitting there. You should definitely continue exploring. Let's go like this. Explore around our borders. You, you're only sitting there. Let's set your stance to passive and then move here. So let's actually just move there. Eight hundred and four. I should have stopped them from attacking the snap post because we kind of need to save this one. But not much we can do about that now. And this will quickly become ours, and then I'll have it move back to. Police 1, and then to Police 1061. So, building is complete. So, let's go for mining and research stations. Oh, row aliens. Let's investigate those, and then let's build a starbase there. How are you doing? Oh, doing all right. Yeah, we'll be fine. So you, let's come do the research project. Declare rivalry from the Saurian League. We really should have done that first. Declare rivalry. Confirm. Go to the Delta Union and declare rivalry. We can't do that at the moment. Oh, how is your fleet inferior? And yours is inferior to me as well. Okay. New research. Let's go for Topoline or should I go for Chemosite? So. That's Topoline. I currently don't have Chemosite. Okay, so let's go for Topoline then. Research project. Capture the starship. And you here? Oh! Yeah, okay, you're fine. Research. Oh, automatic exploration. Let's do that. We have a prototype NX class. Oh, and another prototype NX class. Let's. Not allowed to merge with the assault fleet. Why? Why? All of you go to Pujem.
Okay, this is a little bit weird, but... Okay. You're attacking those cruisers. Ooh. So... The captain bravely led a strike team that boarded the futuristic starship from another universe with the aim of capturing it and turning it against the rebellion. The Tholian aboard the ship and facility where the ship was being held were no match for the Terran Empire's forces that boarded the starship and liberated her from the Tholian. Um, the futuristic weapons on the USS Defiant have made quick work of destroying the station where it was being held. Hopefully they will soon make quick work of the rebels and the Terran Empire will be able to crush the rebellion once and for all. The captain has assumed command of the Defiant and has been ordered to take the ship back to Earth, with the hope that the weapons and technology aboard the ship will help the Terran Empire win the war, but several of the crew think they should take the Defiant to Vulcan and wipe out the Rebe Rebellion's base and its fleet there. So let's set a course for Earth because I don't think one ship can really destroy the Rebellion. So. The Wong has ordered the crew of the Defiant to set course for Earth so that the Terran Empire scientists and technicians can study the ship's weapons and then other useful technologies, in hope that they can be replicated and used against the Rebellion. However, some of the crew are not happy that they are blindly following the orders of the Admiralty at Imperial Starfleet Command. They believe that the Defiant should be taken straight to the front lines and wipe, out, wipe the Rebellion out. Also, the crew have been looking into the ship's computer database and learned that the universe that the Defiant comes from Earth doesn't form an empire, but instead formed a coalition where all races are equal. Some of the alien crew members have been overheard mum uh, murmuring about what could have been in this universe had they not been conquered and enslaved by the Terran Empire. We need this technology. So, as the team led by Shen Wang being brought into the USS Defiant, the USS in Inexorable is snared in a Tholian web and destroyed. Oh, we will avenge the fallen. So, oh, we have the Defiant here. We also, I think, had a project. Yep. Go to. Let's research that. Ooh, military power 2,150. That's nice. So let's take you three and go there. Let's merge those two. So, prototype NX class. If we... Can we build more? Prototype NX class. Yes, we can, is the answer. Which is good, because... We need it, basically. Constitution class is here. We're studying the Defiant and then I think from here we're going to need to go to the to Vulcan and crush the rebellion there. So how are we doing? Okay I guess. Time to strike. Shan Wang has um, successfully delivered the Defiant to Imperial Starfleet Command as ordered. The Admiralty and even the Emperor are extremely pleased with the good results. It would seem that the promising careers in the cards for Shan Wang, as well as the end of the Rebellion and the technological advancement of the Terran Empire. The scientists studying the Defiant believe that it will take many years to fully understand its futuristic technology, and it is unlikely that they can do anything in the meantime to rapidly develop any new weapons. The Admiralty will now, uh, now believe the best course of action will be to take the Defiant to Vulcan and cross the Rebellion. Time to strike. Shan Wang has been chosen to lead the Terran Empire's forces aboard the Defiant to retake the Vulcan system and destroy the Rebellion. Uh, intelligence reports suggest there is a large fleet in orbit above the planet, but that the Defiant, with the Defiant on their side, they should be able to make quick work of it. A ground force will then be sent to the surface to either capture or kill the rebel leaders on the planet, thereby forcing the Rebellion to surrender. So the Constitution, I'm then sending to Vulcan. How is this battle going? We forced one cruiser to retreat, two destroyers to retreat, and things still keep coming. Okay. So, tell our Prime, you have an extra worker. You don't need an extra worker. Let's resettle you on Earth. Wait. 
What does Earth have? Oh, it does have some jobs available, so let's reset all you onto Earth. So you're moving. So now we can hopefully dispatch this cruiser. And by dispatch, I mean completely get rid of. Okay, so. Can we combine these? We can merge these. You need to go repair. You also should go repair. So let's look at this fleet. Yeah, remove those. So we don't want to go over a hundred. Can those two? Merge. Not allowed to merge an assault fleet. So we are just destroying that outpost. Link, there's nothing there. Great. We are then. Oh, new research in Port Topoline. Let's go for the. Uh, Pergium mine. Okay, so let's look at our construction ship. You're building stuff there. Oh, then you're going there. Yeah, do that first. Let's send... So we have a fleet here. We have that fleet there, and we have this fleet there. And we also have zero alloys being created, or 0.36, so basically zero. Let's send... Actually, let's see what happens with the Defiant. Let's keep our... Taking that outpost. We shall be destroying the destroyer. Hopefully. Oh, new research. Great. Research station, tractor beam. Let's do research station output. And you... Go here. No, we're attacking a construction ship. Actually, let's send this fleet here, because I think... Yeah, so we need... You need some backup. Oh. Construction ship. Oh, we don't have enough. Yeah, we're lacking in alloys. What we can do though is go up here and say sell and sell, 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 and buy several times. Yeah, so now you go there and build that. You seem to be researching and fighting and doing everything at the same time. Congratulations. Oh, victory is ours. We have crushed the rebellion. So Shan Wang led a ground assault against the rebel fortress on the surface of Andoria, although this was Vulcan, hoping to uh, personally end the rebellion by defeating their leaders in combat. However, whilst Shan Wang was an accomplished starship commander and fleet tactician, Shan Wang was not a ground soldier and the odds were stacked high. Shan Wang's ground forces managed to storm the rebel base and made quick work of their soldiers. The rebel leaders were surrounded and Shan Wang personally ex executed the lot of them, but not before making them order the rest of the rebellion's forces to surrender. With the rebellion crushed, the Terran Empire can look forward to a prosperous future. Victory is ours. Yay! The Empire, formerly known as a Coalition of Hope, has been destroyed by its enemies. How will this affect the political climate of the galaxy remains to be seen. Great. Oh, and you've been magically transported back to the soul system. Okay. Great, I guess. 
So now the question becomes You're inferior. Good. So, Constitution class, let's set you to Auto Explore, and you will be set to Auto Explore as well. A new faction has recently been gaining traction to so the Anti Federation League. I think we can. Yeah, it will be fine. You can upgrade, so why don't we upgrade? You can reinforce. Oh, why don't we send you to, um, actually, Imperial Defense Force, you go to the Soul System, assign to base, and move there. The NX Assault, you're going to go to the Soul Star base as well, and you are going to stay in Pajem, where you're going to upgrade, and then eventually you will reinforce. So we can unlock slavery living standards, administrative districts, or resort locations. Let's go for administrative districts for right now. We have once again contained call, re, uh, gained control of the 40 Erodney system and rebuilt our outposts in the orbit around the star. Great. And the Pyrocon system, but we lost those two systems. Okay, interesting. Let's merge you, just some housekeeping. So let's take a look at these systems. So administrative we have workers why don't we build energy credits and agricultural districts let's go for energy credits and on Vulcan let's go for large-scale farms and then when we have the money we will go for a policing system as well You're growing a Terran, you're growing a Dorians, everyone's growing everything. Yay! You're building the star base. Ah, now on Vulcan, I can go for the policing system. And I'm also going to. Well, can't do that much of anything yet. So you upgrade. Let's also research uh torpedo or hmm plus five percent and unlocks trillium plating. Let's do that. So you've been upgraded. Unequal partners. With the rebellion put down, it is feared that the alien slaves of the Terran Empire may rise up again and attempt to overthrow their Terran masters. Emperor Yi has decreed that in order to create a stronger empire and stifle any future descent, the elevation and status of one of the leading races in the former rebellion would be effective. The race that is picked would be freed. To be freed would enjoy almost equal rights with the Terrans and be allowed to command starships, lead armies, and hold public office. However, the throne will still be limited to Terrans only, in order to keep the purity of the Terran Empire intact, so we can free the Vulcans, the Tellarites, or the Andorian and Aenar. Let's go for the Vulcans, I think. If we look at our species, and look at the sort by population, the Vulcans are the next highest, let's go for the Vulcans. I wonder if that changes this, what actually happens. So we now have the Vanguard faction. What the Vanguard basically militaristic. No immigration, asserting dominance and embracing strength. So they want adopting any tradition emphasizing strength will please the Vanguard. Okay. Good to know. So population. These Vulcans are still enslaved. Vulcan, Vulcan, Vulcan. Anomaly 
Research. Oh, actually, what I'm going to do, remove this lard. Let's put in a entertainment system. And I'm going to move three of these populations. Yep, three of them. Resettle to Earth. One, two, three. So on Earth. Oh, we can actually build some more buildings now. Let's go for maybe another m another two mining networks. Yeah, let's do that. And then let's go for another city. And the tradition, supremacy, domination allows us to subjugate and vassalize other empires. Oh, strength. Here we go. Army, mor army morale increased by 20. Unity increased by 5. Hold points increased by 33 for defense platforms. Defense army damage increased by 50. Pop amenity usage minus 10. Ship upkeep minus 10. If we go for that, we could make the vanguard happier, although they are quite happy at the moment. Orbital bombardment, admiral level cap, administrative capacity. How are we for administrative capacity at the moment? Empire sprawl. Oh, we could do that. Yeah, let's do that. Because now we're then back with back under our total empire sprawl at the moment. That's good. While you're here, build research there. Let's build a mining station there, a research and observation post there, another mining station there, mining stations there, mining station and research station, mining and research stations, and mining stations there. So you'll be busy for the next little while. Okay, so now is a good place to put in a cut. What I'm going to do, actually, before I do, Let's sell some things on the market, like that. Let's get some more alloys. Let's then set for you to upgrade. You cannot upgrade, and you can't do anything at- oh. Let's then go here, add, ship design. So these are the prototypes. Yeah, okay, not much we can do there. Let's add some light cruisers. Five, six, seven. Two more there, and the rest Emmet class. Yeah, that will be nice. But we will definitely need to increase our naval capacity, so that's kind of what we'll focus on, probably in the next episode. So I hope you enjoyed. I'm putting a cut in here now. Um, if you did, please remember, like and comment. Tell me what you like that I'm doing. Tell me what you don't like that I'm doing. If you absolutely don't like the video, please downvote it as well. Um, please give it a dislike. Um, yeah, if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. And I hope you see, hope to see you again for upcoming videos. Bye for now.